the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazenam Dekano, has questioned those criticizing the governor of River State, Inyeso Wiki, over the demolition of two hotels. Kano stated that those who turned the blind eye when the minister, the then minister of federal capital territory, Nasai Rufai, was demolishing buildings and businesses belonging to Biafrans have now recovered their voices. He said that the people criticizing Yeson Wike now could not criticize Air Rufai then because they were afraid of the repercussions from the federal government. Although Kano noted that Wike's action was extreme, he said the hotel if it was not demolished, would have been used to used by armed juries to spread the dreadly COVID-19. Reacting through his usual social media, Kanu wrote, When Erufai was busy terrorizing and pepperizing thousands of Biafran businessmen by demolishing their hotels, bars, restaurants, and homes in Abuja, some of the raging hypocritical, hypocritical voices of righteous indignation we are hearing today were never heard. They never uttered a word nor made a sound because they were and still are afraid of the murderous tendencies of their Fulani masters who are still demolishing demolishing legitimate Igbo businesses in Abuja. In fact, Erufai went on to become the governor of Kaduna State from where he openly admitted to paying his fellow killer Fulani that decimated the non Fulani population of southern Kaduna. Today, he is being touted as the next president of the zoo by the same people condemning Governor Yeson Wiki. Current FCT Minister Belo Mohammed has simply carried on from where his predecessor Erufai stopped and has been busy demolishing far more expensive buildings in Abuja belonging to Biafrans than what than that destroyed in Igocha by wiki does it mean i condo uh, excuse wiki's administrative overreach of course not i do not condo it because he went too far but we must understand that operators of that very establishment risked the lives of thousands of people in river state and beyond potentially they could have brought infections and death to thousands of people either through coronavirus infected amajiri or by inadvertently providing accommodation to Fulani killers streaming into our towns and villages from the north. Either way, the proprietors of the hotel place thousands of lives at risk, whereas the Igbo businessmen and families whose livelihoods were taken away by Erufai and Belo Mohammed in Abuja committed no offence known to law. Hmm. Wow, it's a, it's unfortunate that a, a lot of things are really happening right before us, right before us, and what some people could do is to, to look the other way, to look the other way. In my opinion, I still believe that <laughs> we can never did wrong. We can never did wrong in the first place because when the executive order was passed or People heard about it. Why did they not contest it? Why did they not say no? Ah, we don't want such a thing. Or, or better see simple obedience. Simple obedience. Just obey, just for a little time. And we know the way at which these people have been coming into the, into the town, into southern parts of the country. Because if the hotel people, if they had or the hotel uh, manager or the owner, if they had done or obeyed the simple instruction, it would have been better because they were aware of this whole thing before this demolition took place. Nobody said anything. I used an executive order. Well, whether Wiki is going to turn around and say, oh, he's sorry, it's a different ball game entirely, but my as the aspect I'm concerned about is abiding by the law, abiding by it. That is what is important because now everybody just feels that, oh, uh, if some people do it, okay, you take, uh, let them... Go scot free. If some people do it, oh no, they will be held responsible. Just like a uh, Kano is saying, when some things are happening that are not okay, instead of us to come together and say, no, this is not good, some people will go this other way, some people will go the other way. Because we don't even have structures in place. Because what we are even practicing, it's not even the real thing. And that is why the we came say people are against them. People are saying, oh, because in their own at their own various levels, they 
commit all manner of impunity as well. Because if a leader will stand by what he says and does what he has put in place, not that, oh, the, law, the laws are for the commoners, but we are above the law, we can do and undo. It's still playing out, the impunity is still playing out till today. And that's why you see that people are always like, no, we no go agree, we no go agree. Oh, what of when A did this, what did you do? When B did this, what did you do now? It is seen now that you want to hold on. It is seen now that you want to really pour all your anger on. So that is just the way it is. I don't just understand because across board, the lawlessness is, is, is something else. The lawlessness is something else. We don't want to obey the law, but we want things to work out fine. It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. It does not work that way. So, like what uh, Nambekano is saying, that uh, those who did not criticize Rufai when he was doing that, and uh, now they suddenly found their voices and began to speak and began to do this and that. That where were they then? That one is a different bogey mentality. What he's saying is a different bogey mentality. And my opinion is a different thing entirely on how we can just obey simple instruction and do the right thing. Because that is why you see that even the so-called leaders are turning away their faces even to the problems on ground. Now, a lot of people have been coming because Nnamdi Kano is, is seeing it from a different angle that these people would have come in and infect every other person. Infect every other person. And the hotel owner is coming out to say, oh, I, I, I have not violated anything. I have not violated anything. Just like a, one a SCN has said, Okocha, that let them go to court. Let them go and say to all of those things because we know that all of them from A to Z, whether the leaders, whether the government as themselves, they are not to be trusted. Because they will put law, at the end of the day, they will try to change everything. Then how do you expect the people themselves to go by that? That's why the place is just, everywhere is just upside down. The people that do evil, they are the ones that the masses will be praising. They are the ones that uh, the masses will be, will be afraid of. Someone says here yeah, that uh, the issue of Biafra is a, uh, it's an issue of no where what brought a biafra with nigeria they are two different issues please pack your inachievable biafra that's what somebody is saying here another says here that a uh, god anger has come upon Ausa. let's beat it very very loud erufai was heavily criticized and abused by both human and spirit and will never go unpunished Nobody is in support of Erufai demolition anybody's house, but at least is a lawyer is loyal to his people. He will never harass or oppress his king's men or party men. Wicked is a coward. He only oppress people that are weak. The people is oppressing are his king's men. His people are his party men. For Biafrans to support him is disgusting and naive. The other time during the oppression of oil workers, the people that are mainly concerned are the mostly Igbos and others from the south-south zone. So what is Kano talking about? Who is he fighting for? Or has he become a mercenary? Okay. All these uh, detractors and oppositions to Wiki as secret agents. As secret agents. See the essence of their reasoning. Shabby. It is not. Shame a drowning logs gathers no soonest. Shame they must face the music they are about playing. Someone says supported. Please Igbo back to Israel, Yoruba back to Kenya, where you people come from. Please free Nigeria. Please Nigeria is the Awusa land. You people I don't know. <laughs> this paper says it is okay. This one is from me. Uh, it's from the other end. Okay. You can understand what he's talking about. Why is it that Kano takes pleasure in supporting evil? I have never seen him talk bitter about bad happiness. You have failed to convince us to accept your views. Someone said he can't try it in the north. Fear, fear, Igbo people, betrayer, Igbo. Kano, go and rest one place. I beg, you cannot share this country without war. So, if you are ready to fight... The fight starts with gun, short not mouth fighting. Mm. Someone says, please, let's be careful and mind how we rain abusive ways on other tribes. Learn to comment reasonably 
and not insulting other people. Please, your papa no be God. Read and reply wisely. Hmm. Someone said, you turn yourself to a small boy. You're fighting for Biafra or debating with Nigeria small. You talk, you will talk, can't, can't you pretend to be real? Can't you exposing yourself or something that you're not supposed to say? Or you keep quiet. Kanu is right. Nigeria is dead and gone under the Awusas. Erufai was heavily criticized. Are you sure this your Biafra will work? You are now attacking yourselves. So interesting. Kanu is here by impeached before it becomes, it becomes Biafra presidu. Chai, go deal. Is this guy still alive? Wow, dead man alive. I'm begging on behalf of Wiki here. Frankly speaking, Governor Wiki's action is totally bad. Everybody knows that. But let's forgive him. Wiki is a human being. Nobody is perfect on earth. Even in the Bible, Jesus Christ got angry when he entered the synagogue. People turned synagogue to marketplace. He got angry. So let's tamper justice with mercy and forgive him. It is well, even inside well. Hmm. Another says, Erufai demolished Biafra's houses over minor offenses as a COVID-19 lockdown ordered. I thought uh, you are dead. Somebody said, I thought you are dead. Someone said, you thought. Okay, haven't you here? It is when he has already used them to get what he wants, then he will turn back to them. But should not forget that God is watching him. What is so is what is going to reap. This is unfair. Finally, he has become a simple critic of government. Biafra struggle is over with Namde Kanu. Everything that happens in Nigeria, Namde Kanu reports on Facebook and Twitter. Yes, it's good. I don't know why people are talking like this. It's going to react. Or, it's going to react to it unless until Biafra is out of Nigeria. Because those who are even saying you should not even say anything concerning Biafra or Nigeria, they are making a very big mistake. They will tell you, come and come back to the to the country, come back to Nigeria. You that you are in Nigeria, what have you done? What is your impact? All of the, all the millions of people that are in Nigeria, what difference have they made? What difference have they made? Well, we are where we are because of the kind of people we are. So we live by it. So guys, let's hear your opinion. Leave your comments and let's have your take.